Hey, baby. This is my first time doing this, and I'm a total novice here, so forgive me and bear with me if I don't know all the terms just yet. So, a little backstory after this past 4th of July and going to a TNT fireworks stand tent place uh, for only the second time and really getting into this, uh, my friends and I started planning what we were going to do for Halloween, and um, I thought we should have fireworks then too. Great way to wake the dead. So then after doing some research and going deep, deep, deep down the rabbit hole of YouTube videos, I stumbled across a channel uh, known as Cody B. Pyrotechnics, a little shout out to him, and saw that he uh, did a road trip out to Pahrump, Nevada, where they had a number of stores. And then checked them out on their websites, and over the course of two weeks to a month, uh, watched hordes and hordes of demo videos. So then after some planning, um, having to twist my boss's arm to get some t time off and then uh, rent a vehicle that could haul everything, uh, took my first trip out, out there uh, about a week ago now as of this recording. And the uh, first place I went to was uh, Phantom Fireworks because they were the uh, closest place to the hotel I was staying at. And good timing, too, because right now they're doing a 50% off all their inventory sale. And plus, I had a coupon for buy one, get two free fireworks. You can use it, uh, or fountains, and you can use it up to three times all at once. So, and I think with those deals put together, um, I managed to save over $500. And, let's see. These are some of the fountains I got. And um, whoop, and uh, some uh, Roman candles. I would definitely recommend the Dragon Tails because they do this comet stream effect that I um, enjoy. And I managed to get a free T-shirt out of it too. And this the biggest one I have no, and the only no I got was Mars Retrograde. It has cool ring effects uh, that I like. And best of all. Red Apparition, which is perfect for Halloween, along with a uh, Midnight Sunburn. But uh, of course, the one that I really wanted to get was Witchcraft, but unfortunately they didn't have it in stock at the time. And big Roman candle that uh, was the biggest one I got. And uh, I wanted to get a Silver Spinner one uh, at Blackjack, which is the next place that I went to. Uh, but it was part of their buy one, get two uh, deal, but I didn't want to have to buy three or two other things I didn't really want just to get the one, so I skipped it. Um, before getting into the main area of Pahrump, I actually stopped off at Outlaw Pyro first because they're on the outskirts of town, but their gate was locked and I assumed they were closed because it was raining at the time. I really wanted to get their uh, uh, Venom assortment thing um, along with uh, their shells known as Zombie. Because I thought with a name like that and the, that theme would be per perfect for Halloween. So anybody likes to have monsters around for Halloween, then, you know, it's always good to have zombie. So after Phantom, then I went to Blackjack and then mostly got shell casings. I got King Dragon and Ghostacular buried back there. I also lucked out with Ghostacular. At this time, they were available for wholesale, and instead of doing one for one twenty-five, I got three for one seventy-five. Um, I missed their neon jellyfish, oh Noab, which was also by Rac Raccoon. It's an effect I, I've actually enjoyed. Um, either I didn't see it, or I just uh, passed on it because I was kind of rushing things since it was close to closing time. And then after that, then I rushed over to a Red Apple, where, of course, I did the most amount of shopping. Then started off with a few of the novelties. Decided to try their Mad Bats because Blackjack didn't have their Spectral Bats. And then little Pixels, Eye Candy, Cyclone Warning, Ion Blaster, and the Cats. And, of course, again, being... Uh, Halloween, I wanted to get something orange and green. 
Tangerine Haze is all orange, um, but only Blackjack and I think Area 51 had uh, the one cake that's simply called green that has Medusa's face on it. But again, that was part of their buy one, get two deal that, that I don't want to get into. Speaking of jellyfish, oh yeah, Phantom Diz had a, a small version of electric jellyfish, you know, same same effects. And then Thriller, their 200 shot, which uh, definitely perfect for Halloween. I opted to get one in a box instead of one that's already out set up like Rainbow here because I wanted to keep it protected. And Jewels, because it was the only case that I uh, remember seeing that was for less than 200. And I think Vertical Reality here was one of the first demos I remember uh, watching. Night Flight, because, you know, it's got the, the bat theme. And Stars and Strobes, because it's got a combination of, of effects that I also enjoy, which was like these Comet, Pistol, Peony, Dahlia th things. And they have a smaller version um, it's called a Serpent Striker, I, th I think it was. As for other little novelties, Zed Shredder is perfect for, uh, for something for Halloween. Along with the, these small fountains, I did get a, a noiseless fountain, like silent mode, because I was hoping to set some of this stuff off at my BFF's house, which I spent some uh, time at yesterday d decorating and hoping it is uh, we do what we did 4th of July but now she's a little reluctant uh, to do it with the mobs of uh, kids she says comes through her, her neighborhood and uh, she's concerned that of course you know one of the kids either might get hurt or a fire will get started because it gets very dry here at this time of year or some parent is going to turn into a total Karen and want to report it. Oh, uh, Neon Fusion, I got at Red Apple and Octopus Rockets at Phantom. I was disappointed that uh, Red Apple didn't have uh, the Sun Ring Rockets and Ghost Star Rockets. And I also had a number, number of things I wanted to get that it didn't have, like a Ghost Mansion Fountain, a Green Goblin Fountain, and, uh, shoot, I'm forgetting the other one off the top of my head. After that, then, uh, tried my hand at Area 51, and they had, uh, horror movie ones, and these, I think, were worth the buy one, get three deal. And these ones had the, the best, uh, effects that I, I would, uh, totally go for. Oh yeah. Also, you know, it, chroma shells are buried back there in the in the corner. You can't can't see it from Red Apple, and they've got cool neon effects. That I would totally go for. And then after all that, I tr tried going back to uh, Outlaw Pyro, and their gate was still locked, and it looked like they were still closed. So I wasn't able to get those zombie shells. So I think that would was the biggest disappointment. And so hopefully I'll be able to uh, set some of this off tonight and do my own demo videos or most likely just have to sit on all of it and wait until next 4th of July. That pretty much covers it. Thanks for watching. Zombie.